Guys, and for today's lesson, we are simplifying algebraic expressions still. Our objective is I can simplify algebraic expressions using subtraction in one variable and recognizing equivalent expressions. Looking at number one, it says Mr. Thomas has four boxes of erasers with B per box. So we, he, we know he has four boxes with B erasers per box. So we don't know what B is. By the end of the year, Mr. Thomas gave away two full boxes of erasers with B per box. Find the total amount of erasers Mr. Thomas had by the end of the year. So if we know Mr. Thomas had four boxes of erasers with B per box, and we know he had two boxes, he gave away two boxes with also B per box. And we're trying to find out how many he had at the end of the year. So we are gonna subtract the two because he gave away two boxes. So now we can, we can subtract our coefficients. So we can subtract these coefficients So now 4 minus 2 is 2, and continue with our variable, so our answer would be 2b. And these two terms are considered as like terms because they have the same variable which is B. So your answer would be 2B for this question. So we know now, now that 4B minus 2B is equivalent to 2B. So they are equivalent expressions. Moving on to number two, it says simplify 4a minus 3a minus a, and we know that the a, the coefficient in front of a is one, it's just an imaginary one, and we know that all three of these terms are considered as like terms. because they all have the same variable. So now if we were to subtract our coefficients, we're gonna take away four minus three, which equals one A, and we have still another A, so we have one A as well, so now we have to subtract one A minus one A, which would give us zero. Any time that we are taking a variable, subtracting a variable from a variable from its same number, like 1a minus 1a, our answer would be 0. So the numbers in front of our variables are considered as coefficients. And all of these are considered as like terms because they all have the same value for their variable. They all have the letter A in it, so the same variable. So we now can move on to our practice. So we have 3A minus A. We, now, we know that there is an imaginary one in front of an, a variable that has no number in front of it. So now we can subtract three minus one, which would be two, and we still have our variable a, so our answer would be two a. Looking at five a minus two a, we know that we have the variable 
We know that we have like terms because they both have the same variable in their expression. So we can subtract 5 from 2. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And we still have to continue with our variable. So we have 3a as our answer. Looking at number 3, we have 2a minus 1a minus 1a. We all know that the, these are considered as like terms because they all have the variable a in them. So we can subtract their coefficients. So we can take 2 from 1. So 2 minus 1 equals 1a. And we still have another a, so 1a. So now we can subtract 1a minus 1a equals 0. Looking at number 4, it says simplify 10a minus 2a minus 3a. So we know that they are all like terms because they all have the same variable, which is a. So we can subtract our coefficients since they're all like terms. So we have 10a minus 2a minus 3a. So if we subtract 10 from 2, it gives us 8a minus 3a. So we can subtract our coefficient still. So 3, 8a minus 3a gives us 5a.